Hell of bay of biscuit. I began to tumble and roar. Good morning, Arthur. Hello, Mary Beth. How are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> Yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but... In reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. All right, head for Rhodes, and quick. She's in Rhodes? No, she's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No, she spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her, anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa. What you want? Kind sir. We're lost and in need of some help. Well, get out of here! Anyway, just get in there and find Tilly. What is that? Shut down! What the hell? It's okay, Miss Tilly. Now, let's get you out of here. There was... I... No, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. <sighs> The one in front of the boat. Bring them back alive. I ain't done with them yet. All right, get after them. There, straight ahead. I saw them go through those bushes. You've got a couple more seconds to regret what you did. You got it. They're heading down the hill to the water. Oh, there they are by the shoreline. One's 
the boss. Lasso him and we'll take him back to Tilly. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. You're making a big mistake. Don't let him get away! You don't know who you're dealing with! Come here! Ah, that's it. Now make sure you tie him up real good. You son of a bitch! Uh, uh, make these nice and tight. Alright. You bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take his horse. He won't be needing it no more. Get these ropes off of me right now! God. have the first idea what you're getting into. I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. Shut the hell up. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. You just shut your mouth now, Anthony. I've heard enough. Son of a bitch. Watch him now. Alright. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. Here we go. So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the bat. Sadly, I agree with you. Sorry, partner. We can't take no chances with the likes of you. Yeah. <laughs>
Lordy, Lordy, no! Let's go, girl. Find a skirt Please to hide don't. under. Stay the hell away from me, you wimp. God, no! You ain't no kind of man. Come on, mister. I was only playing. Jesus Christ! This is a robbery. Oh, God, help me! Sorry. This is a robbery. It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault to Darky White. Although well, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean uh, off you. Come uh, on. And uh, I'm right. tall, you, you lily livered. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. You and for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor. What you want? Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Good morning, morning, sir. <gasps> Someone ought to fix that bill. I'm God. finding myself. Lock it out move on. I swear, this place is going Right here, folks. Papers. A very good morning to you. They ain't as bad as you made out there. Bad. They worse than worse. Y'all always was one for gossip. 
Jethro Minglethorpe. Gossip, gossip, gossip. But as usual, you're spreading lies. Lies? Every fool knows the charges were trumped up. But the darky killed a white man. Jimmy Holdaker had a weak heart. He died of a heart attack. Oh my, God, look at and you. And Samson Black was set up. Everyone I'm knows sorry. Judge Amory took what? a bribe. You don't believe you're that, do you? Pathetic. Sure. Please, you let me, me alone. Anyway. What you want, little talk? feller? You ought to He's wash fine. your mouth out. Hey, now, you Just ain't gotta fine. act like that. Marlene? Still with us. Hey, can't no one around here take a joke? Boy, you're playing with fire. Sir, good morning. Gore's dead and rose blood feud. Hey, move. I need the poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? No damn... No damn manners. This what you wanted? Gonna be dead soon. You ain't the law. You don't look tough. Who do you reckon oh. you're talking to? Great Scott. Oh, I, I do apologize. I am. How's things with you? Oh, I, I've been better. Just That's get out of my way. Almost ruined everything. Yep. Well, now. Well, howdy now. Get. Come on, girl. You better have left your troublemaker. Uh. It's time for you to move yeah. on to greener pastures, as they say. Hands above your head! Let's just talk about this, all right? Did I stutter? <laughs> move an inch and you're in the grave. Oh, hell! That's this is not too, too late! Too late. Oh. Oh, son of a bitch!
Shit. I'm fixing it. 